Infarctions, and we got two main ones. And first one is, and nowadays we call it MSTEMI. So it means non ST elevation MI. Non ST elevation means what? Depression. Okay. But watch out, it could be like this at the beginning, or it could be already like this is coronary T. That's why I was talking about it. But it's not always, and from the beginning, definitely. This comes later, later, later. Like in four hours, maybe, which is too late as information. Okay, so this is in the. It looks like this. It just looks like this in the first minutes and hours. Okay, so that that's the 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 trick. Why what I'm gonna why I'm gonna mention it. But NSTEMI means what? NSTEMI it got, it has other uh, older synonyms, but now we're using non STEMI, non ST elevation in mind. And what does it mean is? It's non-Q also. That's a synonym. There, they, there will be no pathological Q. And what is pathological Q? I'm going to draw it here a bit. Pathological mean, means nothing else that it is deeper than one third of R. You check the R. If it's real, if it's like high like this, then the Q shouldn't be deeper like this. So normal Q should be always small and not wide. This one is deeper. This is pathological Q. But this you will not see in this type. You will see it in the last one. And in all the, all the times, 40 years ago, you would call this MI Q infarction. But because it's a later sign, we changed the terminology and we made it n STEMI. Okay? So non-Q. And the anatomical correlation, which is not 100% always, it's... non transmuer transmural mural means wall Tran non transmural means that the wall is going to die only over here this is a beautiful so this is a cut through left ventricle or right one doesn't matter this is endocard and this is epicard so i just cut it the wall and basically just half of the wall or the inner part is dead that means this is a non transmuller infarction. Doesn't work 100%. That if you see non STEMI MI, that sometimes the wall can be dead all the time, but in 80 90% it correlates. Okay? So basically, if you will see non MI, non STEMI, I'm sorry, it's MI, but non STEMI MI or non Q, you should imagine anatomically that only the wall is dead only in one half. Okay? or it's not fully dead okay yeah that's important so basically this is not the serious and proper mi you are you you want to have uh, like example but you don't want to have this one as well but this is a lighter mi but as we talk in shock anyways it can kill you any of these can kill you right away and that's because any ischemia or mi can trigger a malignant arrhythmia okay so you don't want to have ischemic of your heart anytime because although it's only ischemia, it can cause a serious arrhythmia that can kill you suddenly now and, and without any help. Okay. So, but anyways, again, transmural infarction, non-transmural infarction means that there is a one layer of muscle dead, but many others are like living. So the function is not like concerning contraction not rhythm concerning contraction it's okay it's sort of okay yeah so this is non STEMI mi and basically what you should imagine over here is also if you could see the vessel the the coronary or maybe i'm gonna put it the same way the coronary vessel what happened over here maybe the plaque ruptured and it's partially occluded and still like occludes. It's in a process or whatever. Okay. 
Yeah, but but still, it got sort of reperfused, or or it got reperfused at the moment when only few cells died, or few half of the cells in the wall died. Okay, so uh, basically, at this uh, occlusion, you should still see. Maybe it's still occluding. It's not fully like occluded. It's not like a clogged pipe. It's not fully clogged pipe, because if it would be fully clogged, fully obstructed pipe already like stabilized inside you are gonna have the real massive MI which is the STEMI MI okay so over here it's like sort of clogged but some flow there could be still yeah in a way it's in a process yeah good so but over here how so so if you like look, look at these if if you look at these three MIs or, or three MI three examples this one, you can basically rule out only clinically that, you know, the pain is only under load and it appears, it disappears immediately after the load is uh, decreased. Yeah. And also the, the ST depression comes and leaves. So basically you can tell this apart from these two, but can you tell these two apart? Not at the start. It starts just the same. It starts suddenly not, not doing load. And in the first minutes, you cannot tell if it's if the pain is going to disappear or not. And also in the first minutes, or a bit later, you will see you're seeing uh, the depression in both of them. Okay, so in the first minutes and hours, but obviously this one should disappear the pain below 20 minutes, and this one continues. But still, you don't know. You don't know. It's a clinical, but but in reality, there could be already dead cells. Yeah. So it's very hard to tell on the clinical basis difference between these two. Yeah, if the pain is going to continue for another 45 minutes, it's very likely MI. But on the other hand, you could have MI and the pain could have been only 10 minutes, you know. So you basically don't know. But how will you know finally and what will finally tell you it was MI? Well, those are the cardiospecific markers because if it's only ischemia there was was no burst of the cells and there should nothing be in the blood but if the the muscle dies they bur the cells burst and they they the 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 enzymes and all the other stuff like troponin